Okay. So let's see what are the accounting provision for partnership relating to the interest on capital. Now we know that when two people get together to form a partnership firm, they contribute some money. Let's say this guy contributes 10 million, this guy also contributes 10 million as their share capital. Share capital normally is basically the risk capital of the partner, meaning thereby that it is very much possible that if the business does not do well, both of them might lose their money, right? As a general rule, there is no interest on capital which is allowed to the partners. Okay, but as I told you, partnership is an agreement, and in the partnership deed, partnership deed, the partners may provide. Okay, no problem. We are going to give interest to both of us at the rate of, let's say, twelve percent per annum. Okay. Now, if that be the case, then actually this interest on capital has to be provided to the partners. Now one important thing which you should notice that this interest on capital is normally on an annualized basis. So let's say these guys put in the money on 1st July 2011 and the accounting year is March 31, 2012 right so what happened was that the business basically used this 10 plus 10 million each let's say let's call this guy as x and y so the business actually used this money during this financial year for a period of how many months from 1st july to march 31 which is nine months so whenever you have to calculate interest on capital the point that you have to see is what is the period for which the business has used this money? If it is for 9 months, then what do you do? You will multiply 10 million, which is the principal. What was the interest formula? You would have learned in your mathematics. It was principal into rate into time. My principal is 10 million. My rate is how much? 12% into 12 upon 100 into time. How much is the time? It is 9 months. So, into 9, because time is normally given in annual form, so we write this as 9 upon 12, right? So, this will knock off this, the 0 will knock off this. So, what do we get? We get 9 upon 10 or 0 0.9 million, okay? So, this is the amount of interest which is payable to x and to y. So that's how you do the computation whenever you get into some kind of interest on capital computations. Well, having said this, now what is the entry which the business is going to make for such interest on capital? From a business perspective, this interest on capital is an expense. Right? And if it is an expense, then obviously you need to debit it. So you debit interest on capital because it is an expense for you account debit so how much is the interest on capital 0.9 million is for x and 0.9 million is for y so total is 1.8 million so i debit it by 1.8 two now what is supposed to be credit this interest is going to go and be payable to whom it has to be payable to x and to y so for x and y their capital account will increase right by how much 0 0.9 million 0 0.9 million right so this is the entry you basically do for interest on capital 